Tracy Worcester and I'm from the campaign Farm Not Factories and today I'm at the London Farmers March because I want to demand that we have a decentralised farming system and a decentralised market so that farmers have the freedom to demand a fair price for their high quality non-GM food to feed this island nation. Now, I believe that we're in a very dangerous world at the moment. Our lives, our livelihoods, and our economy is in chaos. Uh, the price of energy and food is skyrocketing. Many, many people are not going to be able to afford food to warm their house. And because of the inflation, they're not even going to be able to afford their house. And they're not going to be able to afford their, to run their business. Now for farmers, this actually is catastrophic because they are going out of business. Because the costs are rising and the supermarket monopolies are not prepared to pay for the true cost of the food because they simply source cheaper, lower welfare from abroad. I believe that our politicians' minds have been captured by banks and corporations that promote their message through the mainstream media with half-truths and lies. So, for example, they say that Putin is so evil that it's necessary to go to war with a nuclear super state. Or they persuade us with, with millions and millions of a propaganda machine which is brainwashing us to think that the COVID jab, which is an experimental gene edited jab, is safe. Are you joking? They say it's equivalent to a traditional vaccination, but it doesn't stop us getting it, it doesn't stop us spreading it, and it doesn't stop us from getting very ill from COVID. Another thing, climate change is very serious but we are being told that it's completely our fault and they are imposing these dragonian net zero co2 targets on us which are bankrupting our businesses not least our farmers we've got to hang on to our farmers so it's incredibly important that we take back control by sourcing our truth from away from the mainstream media and to use the power of our purse to only buy food from farmers that we can really help. Not only by paying the true cost to cover their workers, but to be able to look after the soil, to be able to increase biodiversity, and to guarantee that we have high animal welfare. We need them to be able to be part of the organic certification, regenerative farming, and to have pasture-fed livestock. Now, that might cost more, but we could spread the cost by eating less but better meat. So, we all know that we don't want to eat insects. We don't want to eat lab-grown meat. We don't want this imitation meat that's a plant that's been genetically engineered and covered in pesticides and patented, so it's completely novel. It's probably extremely bad for us. So basically we've got to rebel against this corporate dystopia, totalitarian world that's like it's Orwellian. We need to seek the truth from websites like Don't Extradite Assange, which has got people that are not only looking to save Julian from jail and uh, extradition to the USA, but to demand free speech. If we have free speech, we can ensure that we have a government that is of the people, by the people, and for the people.